This is a, a military weapon, this particular one. Let's see if we can get somewhere near that centre. Jim, who's firing the musket, was one, until he retired, was one of our senior technicians, like Neil Barnes. And Jim used to let off explosions and do experiments just like Neil does now. But Neil doesn't have a license to handle firearms, so we've specially invited Jim to come back so he can fire the musket. Well, this, uh, this demonstration uh, is something, uh, one that's been done at, here at Nottingham University for very many years and first originated by a, quite a character here called Colonel Shaw. The firing of the musket is a very old experiment. The first reference I found to it was in the 18th century when the Scottish explorer James Bruce fired a candle from his musket to show the emperor of Ethiopia that he really meant business and his gun was good. He fired it through a shield first time, but shields were expensive, so when he repeated the experiment, he was told to do it through a table because tables were more disposable. And it goes with a saying that apparently was common in days gone by, that you could fire a wax candle through a barn door. And we thought we'd put this to the test. The interesting scientific point is that although wax can bend quite easily, if you fire it very rapidly, it behaves like a solid object and is not much different from lead or other bullets. Uh, we're taking the powder granules from which the energy is going to come from, which is gunpowder or black powder. Gunpowder is a mixture of three chemicals, potassium nitrate, sulfur and uh, charcoal. The experiment was fa made famous at Nottingham by Colonel B.D. Shaw, who was a chemistry lecturer here for many, many years, and demonstrated this experiment for more than 60 years, from 1928 right up till 1990. We've got the, uh, the gunpowder down into the barrel of the, uh, the weapon, and to hold that there, we're going to put a wad in. This is cotton wool, similar to what have been used in the day. I'm going to ram that firmly down to hold that in place. Now, to follow the saying, we're going to use our bullet, which is a, a wax candle or a section of ordinary wax candle. And that goes down, that's our bullet. And to hold the bullet in place, another wad. You can see this is quite a time consuming uh, occupation for a soldier of those days. This is a, a military weapon, this particular one. B.D. Shaw was 100 in 1998 and we had a special party for him and the musket was fired in his honour and you can see here is one of the pieces of wood with his 100th birthday as a target and he has signed it here. You can see in this one that the um, candle was going rather sideways so instead of having a round hole you've got a slot. We've got the... Um the chamber of the, of the weapon here, which is now loaded with the black powder, a wad, the bullet, another wad, hold it nice tightly down. I intend to ignite that by putting on that nipple there that has a hole in it, a, um, a percussion cap. That's a little percussion cap, a little cylinder within the bottom of that cylinder is a small amount of detonating explosive. Now that, when that goes on there and the hammer comes down, I pull the trigger, that sends a flame down there into the chamber of the weapon, ignites the black powder, which then converts itself rapidly into hot gases uh, and expanding rapidly with heat, lots of heat, which always instantaneously drives that bullet out with some considerable energy, which we're going to demonstrate. Shall we go and look at the target? Please. Our barn door today is... Uh, a series of pieces of plywood. There's a piece of plywood, and then there's a piece of plywood with a hole in it, and another piece. There are four solid pieces of plywood there, forming quite a substantial barn door. In the second lecture theatre, the candle went so sideways that it never actually went through the wood. And you can see here, 
the wax has just embedded itself in the wood. Here we go. I'm going to put the percussion cap on. Double cock it. Goes on to there. Just to remind you, percussion cap, ignite powder, expansion. Right, here we go then. It's about how gunpowder is an explosive that explodes quite gently. It gives a good push to the <coughs> candle so it comes out nice and smoothly. If you put in a high explosive inside such a gun, there'd be a bang and the whole thing would fly into tiny pieces. Let's see if we can get somewhere near that centre. I think that's uh, fairly near the centre. Let's go and see what damage we've done. So it's the saying was true, all the way through. You can fire a wax candle through a barn door, the saying is true. I don't know, I've probably seen it more than a hundred times. B.D. Shaw used to demonstrate this lecture a huge number of times. The year he retired, 1965, he did the lecture 135 times in one year. but. As he got towards the end of his career, he put more and more gunpowder into these things. So the explosions got bigger and bigger. And eventually we were too frightened for him to go on. Very satisfying. <laughs> How did it make you feel? I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> <laughs>